Boy, this just keeps getting better and better now, doesn't it? I mean, don't we have enough going on already? And we always forget about them, but here they come again. And Illinois may be at the center of this incoming invasion. The cicadas are coming. So this was published April 1st. Invaders from underground are coming in cicada Getty. It's the biggest bug emergence in centuries. The largest geographic brood in the nation called Brew 19 and coming out every 13 years is about to march through the southeast, having already created countless boreholes in the red Georgia clay. It's a sure sign of the coming cicada occupation. They emerge when the ground warms to 64 degrees, 17.8 degrees Celsius, which is happening earlier than it used to because of the climate change entomologist said. The bugs are brown at first but darken as they mature. Soon after the insects appear in large numbers in Georgia and the rest of the southeast, cicada cousins that come out every 17 years will inundate Illinois. They are brood 13. You've got one very widely distributed brood in brood 19 but you have a very dense, historically abundant brood in the Midwest, your brood 13, said University of Maryland entomologist Mike Rock. And when you put those two together, you would have more than anywhere else, any other time, University of Maryland entomologist Paula Strewsbury said. Do you guys know that the planets are beginning to line up? There is an alignment on the 4th, which is actually a very important personal date for me, which is one reason I personally find all these things to be very symbolic for my own life. A solar eclipse, a planet X-like comet, a planetary alignment, NASA's firing rockets, CERN is charging up its stations, the red heifer could be sacrificed, and spring is emerging. I try to remain actually hopeful for this coming season. And all these things do seem like grand symbols. And now, here comes the swarm. Cicadas are a type of insect that are known for their distinct buzzing or clicking sounds, which males produce to attract females during the breeding season. There are thousands of species of cicadas worldwide, but they are mostly commonly found in temperate and tropical regions. Now, cicadas have a unique life cycle that spans several years, with some species having life cycles as long as 13 or 17 years. The majority of their lives are spent underground as nymphs, where they feed on sap from plant roots. After completing their developmental stage underground, cicada nymphs emerge from the ground in mass in a phenomenon known as a cicada emergence, or cicada swarm. Once above ground, the cicada nymphs molt into their adult form, shedding their exoskeletons and revealing their wings. Adult cicadas have those large, transparent wings and big compound eyes. Their size ranges from about 2 to 5 centimeters, 0.8 to 2 inches in length, depending on the species. Adult cicadas typically live for only a few weeks to a few months. During that time, they just mate 
Females lay their eggs in the branches of trees or shrubs. After hatching, the newly emerged nymphs drop to the ground and burrow underground, starting the cycle all over again. Now they have synchronized emergences where large numbers of individuals from the same brood emerge simultaneously. They are not harmful to humans, they are just a mess. Their loud mating calls and sheer number of them can make you feel like it's one of the ten plagues of Egypt, especially during periods of peak emergence, and especially when they start to drop dead all over everything. They don't crawl back to their graves and die, no, they just fall on everything. It's whatever. Yeah, it's good feeding for birds and other things that eat insects, but that only makes up a portion of the number of cicadas expected to emerge. Trillions of cicadas last seen when Thomas Jefferson was president to swarm U.S. for first time in over 200 years. The co-emergence of any two broods of different cycles is rare. Because the cycles are both prime numbers, John Cooley, a cicada expert at UConn, told Live Science. Any given 13 and 17 year broods will only co-emerge once every 221 years. Brood 13 cicadas appear on a 17 year cycle and are restricted mostly to northern Illinois, eastern Iowa, southern Wisconsin, and a few counties in extreme northwestern Indiana. Brood 19 emerges on a slightly shorter 13-year cycle and are widely distributed from Alabama, Arkansas, Georgia, Indiana, Illinois, Kentucky, Louisiana, Maryland, Missouri, Mississippi, North Carolina, Oklahoma, South Carolina, Tennessee, and Virginia. A total of 15 states, according to Shockley. The two broods together span parts of 17 states. In the United States, there are two periodical broods of cicadas that stay underground for either 13 or 17 years. These two broods overlap only in a small area in central Illinois and sometimes in Indiana. They are close enough potentially to have interbreeding between broods. Female cicadas make slits in small tree branches and usually lay 20 to 30 eggs in each slit. A female can lay 400 to 600 eggs in a lifetime. The eggs hatch from late July to early August. Then the cicadas fall to the ground and immediately burrow underground. You know, in Japan, cicadas are associated with summer and are sometimes seen as symbols of the changing seasons. In poetry and art, they are often depicted as harbingers of hot weather. Some Japanese folklore also associates cicadas with reincarnation or the spirits of ancestors. In Chinese folklore, cicadas are associated with rebirth and immortality. The sound of cicadas is also believed to ward off evil spirits in some Chinese traditions. There is a story about Tythonus in Greek mythology who was a mortal prince that the goddess Eos fell in love with. Eos asked Zeus to grant Tythonus immortality, but she forgot to ask for eternal youth. As a result, Tythonus continued to age until he turned into a cicada, and that was to symbolize the cycle of life and death. The Hopi tribes have a myth about the cicada maiden who was transformed into a cicada after sacrificing herself to save her people from a drought. The song of the cicadas is said to remind the Hopi of the importance of selflessness and sacrifice. But cicadas are not locusts, so they aren't coming to eat everything in sight. They only tend to hurt small trees when they try laying eggs in them. 
The only thing cicadas are good for is becoming food for animals. That's why those of you who have pets, reptiles, fish, or birds, you can easily collect them if you live in one of those areas where they emerge. You just collect them into a cooler with ice, then you line them up in rows on a baking tray and then put them in the freezer for a few hours. Or sometimes your pets like live insects. They aren't hard to collect. So, this is weird, isn't it, folks? These special events all happening around the same time. I mean, what more of a sign do you want? Seasonal change, death and rebirth. These things are also big reminders of prophecy, right? So when things calm down after these events is probably when you will start to see things change. Probably in ways that weren't expected because otherwise you wouldn't need a sign. You wouldn't need a reminder. So unexpected changes in our lives could be what we are going to be facing this year. Well, that's all for now, and there is more to come. There will be more exclusive content coming to the website for members shortly. I have been working on some new content, and I do apologize for the delay in getting that up. Other than that, Woodward TV is also available on Rumble, Odyssey, and Brighteon.com. You can follow me on Instagram at jwoodward. Everyone have a wonderful day. Take care, my friends, and as always, stay awake, stay aware, stay safe, and I'll talk to you all soon.